Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 7 are both standards of wireless internet connectivity and both serve the same purpose, but there are several key differences between them. In this video, we're going to have a look at what the most important differences between them are. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps this small channel grow. Let's start with their names. Both have other names they're commonly known by that we can see here. These names are based on the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers naming convention, which named the first generation of Wi-Fi as the 802.11 protocol. They then added additional letters for each additional generation of Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi 6 was released in 2019 and Wi-Fi 7 in 2024. Now let's look at speed. Wi-Fi 6 has a theoretical limit of 9.6 gigabits per second. It's worth noting you're very unlikely to get anywhere close to that unless you have an extremely fast speed coming into your router from your service provider and are in optimal conditions with no interference at all and nothing such as walls or furniture between your device and router. Wi-Fi 7 has an insane theoretical limit of approximately 40 gigabits per second. But again, you're very unlikely to get this incredible speed when connecting to a Wi-Fi 7 router for the same reason we've mentioned with Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 6 uses both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz frequency band. The 2.4 GHz band and 5 GHz band have a lot of other household devices using them and therefore experience a lot of interference causing slower speeds. Wi-Fi 7 can also use these bands plus the 6 GHz frequency band. Being able to use the 6 GHz frequency band means less congestion and interference, meaning faster speeds. It's worth noting Wi-Fi 6E is also capable of using this frequency band, but that comparison is for another video. Using the 6 GHz frequency also means a higher bandwidth. Wi-Fi 6 using the 5 GHz frequency band has a maximum channel bandwidth of 160 MHz. Wi-Fi 7 using the 6 GHz frequency band has a maximum bandwidth of 320 MHz. Bandwidth in Wi-Fi standards refers to the amount of data that can be sent or received over a wireless connection within a specific frequency range. It's like the width of a pipe that determines how much water or data can flow through it at once. The wider the bandwidth, the more data can flow, leading to faster internet speeds and better performance for devices connected to the Wi-Fi network. Having the higher bandwidth with Wi-Fi 7 means things such as 8K streaming are possible. Both Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 7 are backwards compatible with older devices. I've left a link to my recommended Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 7 router in the description if you're looking for one. I will earn a small commission from these links at no extra cost to you. Which standard of Wi-Fi do you use at home? Let me know down in the comments and please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.